Hello YouTubers and fellow vintage radio enthusiast. Uh, going to be a little bit of a different video this time around. The uh, this microphone. This is a. Let's see if you can see that. I'm, I can't see the LCD. I'm not. I don't know how this is really going to turn out because, like I said, I can't see the LCD display. But this is a TUP9 stand. Um, these had a black bottom. I mean, they're basically, they're set up like Silver Eagles, Golden Eagles, Night Eagles, so on and so forth. Uh, and this is a later model one because the push rod that's in here, the work, the sidebar is one of those plastic jobs. So, uh, you know, I, honestly, I never liked the design of these with the Lazy Bar. They look cool, they're great when they work, but they're, they're, they're kind of prone to failure. If you ever have problems with that bar up here... You know, basically, if it breaks, you're going to have to make yourself a replacement. Anyways, his bar is in good shape. I've removed the head. And for those of you that don't know, now most of these have got a three pin connector, but I've noticed they only use two. So this one doesn't even have the third one. I don't know if it was broke off or if later model mics they just started, you know, deleting them. Notice how this has got a notch in it. Well, there's an indention back here, you know, on the neck, and the notch and the indention line up, so that way you always know you've got this correct, and it has a threaded on connector. When taking these heads off, you, you do not want much rocking motion. You basically want to try to pull them straight off, but you got to rock them a bit, but don't get rough because you'll break those pins off. I've seen a lot of them with broken pins in my lifetime. Okay, now on a mic like this, see a lot of these. This is a TUG8 stand. If I remember right, the TUG9 was the same way. There's any of them with no lazy bar in the bottom. There's relay contacts in this neck. And it's got a push bar, you know, that pushes the relays together. And then we let go, it breaks contact and makes contact on others. I'll show in a later video how you clean the contacts on one of these guys. Yeah, I'm not even getting it in the video, am I? My front display is not on on the bloggy. I don't understand why. Normally when I have it like this, it'll uh, normally it'll turn the other display on. Okay, so I've already removed. There's three of these flathead screws, and a lot of mic, a lot of static mics are missing. Uh, many of these. <laughs> a person can make some money. They find a suitable replacement and sell them on eBay. This is what these look like in here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a relay right in there. Notice when I push down. See when I push down on the lazy bar, you see the little white plastic deal. Let's push it. It's making a relay make contact in there. So really to get to this, it'd be best if we uh, let me tilt the camera down a little bit. One, remove the battery. And this is another thing, people get rough with these. If you get rough with these, you'll tear them up. You need to, you know, towards the center, pull, get your fingernail up under each side and pull up. Um, I know other people have got other methods, but you don't want to get rough with them or you'll you'll tear the 9-volt connector. I've, I've seen a bajillion of them that way, and I'm sure, I'm sure most of you guys have as well. Then you've got, basically, if I, I, I don't, you know, I haven't done one of these in so long. This holds the, the microphone cord here. There's two screws. Now it also has, mm, see it also holds the relay. Now I can't remember, I think we have to remove all these. These two screws and these two. But I'm not for certain, so we're gonna, we're gonna find out. I, haven't, I have not disassembled one of these at the Lazy Bar in a long time because I haven't owned one of these in a long time. I'm just doing this for, for a friend of mine. You got got to take care of your friends. Okay. Now I'm. It may come down just enough that I can get to the relay, but it's not. I'll have to remove these two back here as well. I always separate your screws. Now I know the shiny ones go back here and the black ones go up there, but. If you think you're going to forget and shoot a little video or, you know, keep them separate. Like I said, I'm sorry about the camera work, but 
Uh, normally when you swap the image around vertical like I've got on the bloggy, there's a display, LCD display on the, or a uh, image display on the front of this thing. Didn't come on this time and I don't know why. Okay, yeah, this is not exactly as I had remembered. There's your relays. And I want to be careful here. Okay, there's where your lazy bar connects. See, you probably can't even see any of this, can you? I don't have enough room to set the camera behind me, so it's this is kind of cheesy, I know. Okay, there's there's where the lazy bar mounts. There's your uh, there's your relays, and that's what we want to clean. I've got a little relay file. A lot of people got different methods of doing this, but I uh, I use a relay file. See, all it does is press down. So really, it's making contact with a number. Yeah, let me move the camera. A number of different contacts. So I'm gonna take the bottom one first, push down. And you don't want to get rough. I'm just wanting to get the black tarnish off of them because his microphone, and I'm going up to the next one in between and press down. His microphone was breaking up extremely, extremely badly. It started out, you know, it wasn't bad at all. A little crackly, a little staticky at times. Okay, then there's a third one. I went from bottom to top, or you can go from top to bottom. It doesn't really matter. We just want to just want to get the black corrosion okay now while I'm at it I'm gonna do the back side of these that are closed and receive I'm gonna clean them up I got it apart and might as well clean them all and I think if I remember right there will be three of them as well you can push up from the bottom if you want to put a little more pressure Yeah, I guess that's a... Yeah, I think that one's a contact. I can't tell exactly. I'm at a bad angle. So, hopefully... Hopefully this is going to uh, solve the issues. I think I'm going to hit them one more time. Boy, I'm still, I'm still seeing a lot of black tarnish on these guys. I'm assuming these are uh, they black tarnished because I'm assuming they're probably silver plated. That's just my guess. I don't know that for certain. So, anyways, now we have to get this back correctly, and uh, it's going to take some lining up. And I think I might stop the stop the video here. Anyways, you got to make sure you get your strain relief here back under this uh, where this screw goes and then I'll go in there and uh, I'm going to stop the video here because it's already going to get long. That's to show you how to clean the relays in one of these. And all that push rod I was telling you about now we don't want to pull it out i got to hold on to this there's that plastic push rod if you can see it up in there I don't want to pull it out because there's a slot on the top of it and it's lined up with the side keyer. Uh, if I pulled it out, then I'd have to make sure it's turned. It only goes in one way. It has to line up with that that, that sidebar keyer. The notch that comes off it goes in the neck one direction. I'll show one. Of, I'll show the insides of one of them at another time. Now it's time to see, did it work or did it not? I should have shown before and after, but... It, you're just going to see after. You have to take my word for it. It was highly crackly, distorted. Uh, I've just got it on the Lincoln. Receive radio is going to be the old Robin T-123B tube type. Audio test 1T. Notice no crackling, you know, when I key up. Audio testing, one, two, three. Audio test, one, audio. I think, uh, I think I solved the problem. Um, anytime you got a D104, any style, you know, whatever base it has, if, if it's, 
you know, when you when you go to push the PTT, whichever one you choose to use, and it's it's a crackling, staticky, distorted. Uh, the relays are probably tarnished, and like I said uh, on another video, I'll show you how to clean the relays in a TUG8, uh, which would be the same for like a G stand, a UG8 stand. Uh, and a host of others, basically any of them with no lazy bar. Um, this this TUP9 I showed you, this will work for, uh, well, that what, the method I showed you will work for the uh, Silver Eagle, Night Eagle, Golden Eagle, any of them with a lazy bar. So, some other time I'll do a video for the other style. 73s, everybody.